Alright, so the A chapter is a wrap. It was so much fun. Actually, my favorite city so far from this trip. We met amazing people, had amazing food. Uh, we went to visit Malibu. The weather here is amazing, obviously, so it was so much fun. Actually, now we are gonna catch the flight to Las Vegas and we're gonna meet one of our superstar clients that I'm very excited to show you. Alright, so we are in the lounge now. I feel very lucky and grateful that I'm able to get into these lounges and I'm actually pretty amazed by what kind of food they have here. Um, I've been to a few lounges so far and this one was the first one with tofu, edamame and, and rice noodles. Even got some barley here, some broccoli and obviously as you can see the big focus in this meal was the protein so I made sure to get at least 20-30 grams of protein before my flight. Um, I could have come prepared even better with a shake, with a protein bar. So if you're traveling, make sure, I know I say this a lot, but make sure to keep it light. Don't spend all the calories on like snacks and like bread and, and all these things you can buy at the airport or nuts. Like make sure to keep it lean, stick with the protein. And also a quick tip, when traveling long distance, personally I haven't tested it before, but I have a lot of coach friends that do this all the time. I'm going to test this as well soon, that if you have long distance flights, that you fast, meaning that you do intermittent fasting for like however long the flight is because as humans, like our inner clock is always connected to how our meal frequency when we have, when we eat like every two hours and we have different time zones and it's all over the place, right? So if you fast, it resets that clock and you can basically mimic the same meal frequency in the same time zone that you have at home, if that makes sense. So next time we fly long distance or even like short flights, just fast. Um, for me right now, I know that later on I won't probably be getting much protein. Um, so I'm just planning ahead and making sure I get enough protein in now. So I'm set up for success later. So I'm going to dig into this now and then uh, probably see us on the other side. What's up? Hey yeah, man. So, in the hotel gym right now, they, you caught me off guard. Doing like a pool session today. As you can see, not much equipment. But I'm getting it done. Just because every time I fly, I feel like sluggish, I feel like a bit bloated. And so it just makes me feel better to train. And that's the point where you want to get to with your journey. If you look forward to training because of how it makes you feel, versus looking at it like a punishment or like something you have to do, that's where it becomes a true lifestyle. And I mean, I've been doing this for six years now, so for me, it's out of breath. So for me, it's just a lifestyle by now. I love it and we're gonna enjoy the city, but before that, I just wanna get out of the way. again if you watch Nashville vlog you know that we do this for a living <laughs> so uh, yeah we got busted again but uh, we had all the shots I think uh, gonna do a few more sets of biceps and a little bit of neck and abs as well but I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick little edit I think the shortest one we ever did but yep. um, yeah gonna enjoy Las Vegas now and actually very much looking forward to meeting Daniel Negreanu so stay tuned So 
it's the second day in Las Vegas right now and we actually just got some Whole Foods again. Okay, it's uh, an ongoing thing <laughs> throughout the vlogs, but I just love this place. So I got myself a um, high volume, high protein meal. So a lot of tofu, vegan chicken, broccoli, mushrooms and sweet potatoes. So very good meal. But what I wanted to say is we actually go on a meet up with Daniel the Granu right now, which is one of the reasons, like the main reason why we are in Vegas actually. And we're gonna shoot a video with him because he's had such an inspiring and incredible journey with our coaching program. He went from skinny fat to freaking lean and shredded in just a few months. I put a picture right here and he lost like 35 pounds of fat and got really lean and finally was able to make veganism and plant-based diet work for him because he always wanted to be plant-based because of the values, but now he's able to really crush it. So we're gonna meet up with him at his place, shoot an amazing video, we're gonna share his journey. And if you're watching this right now and you're struggling with your fitness, then it's gonna be really inspiring for you. So we're gonna meet up with him now. It's actually been incredible, like you, like you said, while losing all this weight, like it's like 35 pounds, something you lost, I think, um, you didn't like get completely weak. Yeah, so I think when it comes to like, you know, a training program or whatever, right? You know, with my job and what I do, I would travel the world a lot, right? So it's, it's very easy to get off track. You know, you're at a hotel, you're like, okay, you're out drinking with friends and things like that. But the way in which that you created a system, not only with working out with food, where you can sort of plan for that. Extend so much more, it's good. And basically what you're doing is you're using this as a chest support. You are putting your chin above the oh, bench. And then the next thing you do, you do all out reps, which means that you go as long as you can, mm -hmm. as high as you can. Daniel's place and uh, just saw the video uh, about his journey and uh, he's been really crushing it. He lost I think like 35 pounds. I did, yeah, 175 to 140. I didn't know I needed to lose that much weight <laughs> until I did. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Like a lot of people underestimate how much weight they need to lose to, to look lean. Um, can I put a picture here what, uh, how he transformed himself? But what would you say were the biggest challenges before the transformation? Uh, on the plant-based side, what didn't really work for you? What were your biggest frustrations there? Well, I, I mean, I think, again, like trying to fit in to this idea of what like, you know, your average trainer who eats meat will tell you, like he's gonna give you a meal plan that just like doesn't, it's not conducive. Or the macros that they're trying to get, based on what I was eating, I mean, beans was a protein source, but it just two to one ratio of carbs. So I'm like, they're trying to get me to eat low carb and it was impossible unless I just did, you know, beyond meat stuff. Yeah, that's true. Like a lot of people still say beans and lentils are a protein source, but they bring some protein, absolutely, but it's mainly a carb source. They bring a lot of calories as well. So what changed for you when we did the program together? Like I was eating in a calorie deficit, but not snacking and not hungry. I wasn't having those kind of hunger pains. Whereas before, you know, I would want to eat something every hour. Just go to the fridge and eat and eat and eat and eat and all day. And now I have like nine meals that are not really meals rather than three really good meals and one high protein snack. 
Yeah, actually one of the, the biggest points where so many vegans struggle because they just keep on eating carb snacks and carb snacks and like a carb heavy meal, no protein in there. And then they just get hungry after an hour or two and they just keep eating and eating. Even this is healthy food, like they might even eat salads or like granola bars and all these things. But in the end, you're just uh, hungry and just keep on eating. So I'm curious, how is your life now? Like you were able to lose the fat, right? You got shredded, you got lean. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's empowering to know that you can, right? Um, and for me, I just wanted to reveal a six pack for once in my life, was able to do that. And now I have the benefit of like knowing that I can always be on track and healthy while at the same time living life. This isn't restrictive where I'm like, oh, you can't, I can't go out. I can't have drinks. I can't have a fun dinner. I can do all those things and I can negotiate and I can always get back on track because now I have all the tools and you know, just the understanding of like what to do. Love it. Yeah, I mean, props to you again. I think I said this before, but like, you've been really putting in the work, you've been putting all strategies to, to practice and also just keep on working on yourself. I love that, love to see that, very inspiring. And uh, yeah, let's, let's keep crushing it. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't know you were this tall. I mentioned that to you, but <laughs> yeah. like, when you watch this guy's videos, I thought he was like my height. And then he's like this giant German. Yeah, I mean, good branding. And, and, and your new clothes is, we're going to pump you yeah. up. <laughs> Love it, man. Thanks for All your right, time. Bye. You got it. All right, so we uh, got done with the shoot and the workout as well. How was it? I'm happy with it. You know, I was lifting almost as much as you did. I mean, we're getting closer or maybe we're not, but I'm, I like to think so. Oh, well, you're doing great. And it's awesome to see in person how you kept the results, even though the coaching is already over. Just kept applying the principles and keep on getting results. So that's awesome. And the setup as well, very inspiring. I'm actually kind of thinking about doing a home workout, like a home gym setup as well. It makes it so easy, right? You just wake up. No excuses, right? Bedroom, gym, get it done. Get it done. Love it. So thanks so much for your time. Good meeting. Up. You too, man. And it's good to see you keep crushing it. And uh, also, you might as well go to the casino right now and apply some tricks. If you have <laughs> yeah, good. All right, I got one. If you, if you want to guarantee that you do not lose money in Vegas, what you'll do is you'll see tables on the left and you'll see tables on the right. You walk straight past both to the vegan buffet and you'll get taken care of. Here we go. Love it. Let's go. All right. the restaurant we just went to which you saw was recommended to us by Dan Negrano and it's called Veg Nation and he has his own meal on the menu which is kind of kind of fun I took it and it was super tasty and shout out to the place like the service there amazing the food very good and just overall good vibe and I didn't know that Las Vegas had so many vegan options and it's kind of sad now to do this uh, shot because it's our last video right now from this US trip so we started I think two and a half or three weeks ago uh, we flew to New York together then we flew to Nashville, then to Los Angeles, and now we are in Vegas. And looking back, it's been an incredible trip. I mean, all the people we've met, so inspiring people, everyone's so humble and so kind. So America is always very inspiring to me because the people are just very open and in Europe sometimes a bit different. So New York, definitely a vibe. Um, met our clients there, had amazing food, and overall it's a very inspiring city because everyone's running around and doing their thing, hustling, I like that. I'm, I'm a big fan of people that work for their dreams. At the same time, it's a bit too much for me, like a bit too much traffic and just noise and everything. So um, I wouldn't want to live there, but it was nice to, to visit it. Next, we flew to Nashville, mostly for a business event, like a mastermind event. So I didn't see that much of the city, but what I saw, I liked. I liked the vibe, I liked the people, very kind, and also the food was pretty amazing as well, and the event, met so many amazing entrepreneurs that inspired me to take more action, help more people and grow more and help more people overall. Uh, so Nashville was a very good experience as well. Los Angeles has been my favorite. So I went there for like six days, I think, but it was incredible. And I went to Gold Gym, obviously, one of my dreams got fulfilled. 
had amazing food again. And again, I'm a foodie, so I love food everywhere, as you can probably, probably tell. Um, met up with Nimai and other amazing vegan uh, influencers and coaches. And overall, the vibe, the nature and temperature and just everything in LA just fits. And I really like it. It helps me stay grounded, but also stay motivated. So I definitely want to come back for a longer time period for Los Angeles, not Las Vegas, for just two or three days. So I can't really say much, but it was great to see Daniel Grano in person, see how he's crushing it. And also again, a lot of vegan options here, which I didn't expect. So overall, an amazing trip. Thanks Sebastian for coming along and documenting everything. I mean, if you look at the videos, it's, they look incredible for me. It was just like, I do this for you guys, so, we can see, so you can see how I stay on track while traveling and how I navigate my workouts and my nutrition, but I also do this for me, like documenting my own journey, my own life, and very appreciative of you, uh, Sebastian, uh, documenting it and just showing and look, making it look cool, right? Making it look cool, even though I've lived a pretty boring life, so uh, it's been a, it's a fun journey. And if you enjoyed it, actually, if you watched all the different videos from all the series, I would love to know in the comments uh, which one was your favorite and maybe which city I should go next to. So we talked about it uh, privately as well. We might do some more trips in the future, different countries, and just keep documenting it and showing you guys how you can yeah, crush it while, 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 while traveling and just seeing different cultures and everything. So uh, again, if you watch everything, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the series, let me know as well. Uh, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see each other in the next video.